Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so be part of this journey with us by hitting that subscription button right below. It's free and don't forget to hit the bell notification to be notified of my new uploads. Thank you so much to every single one of you for your beautiful comments and your suggestions, uh, your um uh, uh, requests of course uh, in my description box below there's a little arrow right below the video you click on that little arrow it's pointing down it opens up and everything will be inside of there all the measurements and the sizes and uh, my instagram my facebook um tiktok if you have if you need any questions any help with anything please just Go right through there and you can message me through the messenger through there much faster than here. But feel free. There's also my email. You could also write to me through there. Um, okay, so I want to touch base um, in a few things. First, you always sh should look ahead of the video before you create any pieces. Sometimes the change of plans on, on decoration or a mistake is made. We don't have to take everything now. We can just fix it as we go. So it's very important to always look ahead and not just go step by step as I'm doing. Um, also up top, there's three little buttons on the right hand corner. If you click there, it opens up and it tells you slow down the video to the speed that you would like. Just click on the speed you would like. And also next to the three little buttons, there's the letter CC on there. If it's not next to your three little dots, then when you open the three little dots, in there it says CC, click on there, turn it on, and the letters will appear down here on all the stitches that I'm calling. It makes it easier for you to pause, take notes, and continue on from there. But like I said, always look ahead because even though the letters will appear, a mistake could be done and I have to take it down a few steps and then uh, create something around it in order not to take the whole thing down. Okay, so very simple. Uh, everything will be on the description box. I made a little video and showing you how to slow down your video and to turn the CC on. So the link will be on the description box below also. I also have on my description box a PayPal account. Now this PayPal account a while back, uh, I think it was maybe two weeks ago or something like that, I had asked everybody's opinion that's already part of this journey. Uh, if they would like to help um, some women in need of thread, women that cannot afford, women that are on old pension, not enough for them, women that are on welfare for illness or mental illness or not working, whatever the case may be. I do have quite uh, a few people that reach out to me that love my patterns, follow my videos, but they only look, they cannot create, they don't have the means to buy it. Obviously, if I could afford to buy everybody thread, I wouldn't be here mentioning to you. So I need you guys help to help me to let's, you know, create a family here, help each other out and support a little bit on buying the threads for them. Now, I will be buying, I will be shipping. If you have extra yarn, extra thread that you, you know, just have it stored away doing nothing just sitting around you're more than welcome to email me message me how you want to proceed with this i can give you the address and you can send it to them yourselves or you can send it to me and i will send it out to them it's up to you anything helps it doesn't mean that you have to give you know like a, a thousand ten, five thousand ten thousand nobody's asking for huge money here we're just asking a little bit from everybody that can afford to 50 cents a dollar two dollars three dollars ten dollars fifteen twenty dollars you know at the end it all adds up and it does help somebody and to keep them busy and their mind busy and off the stress of everyday life and the means of no money so please do feel it in your heart to help out uh, this is my mission uh, trying to help these people that really do need it uh, most crocheters i don't think i've ever seen anybody uh, do this type of thing so i really would like to help them out uh, it's in my heart to do it i hope you find it in yours too so please be kind and generous and help out with anything that you can thank you so much i'm ready to to begin with uh, i'm grateful and humble to every single one of you that can help and if you can't then you can't you know it's understandable uh, if you can please by all means okay everyone just make sure that you cut a piece of 
your thread. It doesn't have to be that long. We needed to do a chain stitch for the um, side of the of the little rug here for the toilet bowl. So we're going to continue to to work through here, and then we'll have this chain stitch. So you need um, it's twenty four chain stitch. So I mean you don't need that much. Just cut a bit. So we can do 24 chain stitch afterwards here so we can continue our work, okay? Okay, everyone, so we're pretty much going to create today the toilet seat cover. Um, it's another one part of the set. And I'll probably have two more tutorials creation to do, like the uh, water uh, behind the toilet, um, I don't know what you call it, cover, and uh, oval. A small rug for in front of the sink. Okay, these are 100% cotton thread. These are six plies, so it's pretty thick. Now, um, remembering when you're creating rugs, because it's cotton thread, it becomes heavy. It does not slip, but if you're using yarn, there is back parts that you can buy to stick them on there. I'll be using hook 6.5 and also a smaller one, 5.5. For smaller details and a pair of scissors so we're going to get started thank everybody for all your support and your comments and just being here part of this journey with me in general thank you so much now for some of the people that are commenting that they're in need of thread I would appreciate if you can get a hold of me through Instagram message or Facebook or email me please do not give your personal information in the comments here below it is private you should not be giving out your identification information addresses phone numbers and so on and so forth don't forget it's a crazy big world out there we don't need to have some lunatics knocking on your door so you can just mail me that privately on other ways than putting it here on the comments I would appreciate that for your own protection Thank you so much. We just wanted to make sure of that, okay? Let's get started, everyone. Try to cut a bit of the lighting here. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is slip stitch knot. We're going to do um, 22 um, not 22, sorry, 21 chain stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on until you have 21 chain stitch so we did 21 chain stitch I'm going to do four more chains so you can put your finger your nail onto the 21st one here because we have to come back to it with a double crochet so two three and four I'm coming back to my 21st chain and doing a double crochet so now we're going to continue to do double crochet one per space until the end and at the end we should have 22 double crochets so I did my 22 double crochets inside of the same space here I'm gonna add five more so this is no different than the toilet rug the only difference is that we are continuing to do all the way around. We have to leave this opening for the foot of the toilet. So now we're just going to continue to do the same thing, but we're going to close in. So we got to do five more. A little bit of light here. It's either too much light or not enough light. Okay, so we're going to do one. That's all included on the 22nd uh, double crochet we did. Okay, so we have one, two, three, all in the same space already. So we did two of them, not counting the 22nd one. So this is three, four, and this is the fifth one. Now we're going to do one more. So we can have the 22 double crochets coming down this way. So in reality, in the same space, you're going to have seven double crochets. Okay, so 
let's just make sure we have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so now into the next space with double crochet. And you're supposed to have a total of 22 double crochets on this side, counting with the one that's already in there in this curve. Okay, and we're going to do this, whatever we're doing on this side, remembering that you got to do on this side the same way and follow through. There's no point in me recording constantly the same thing because it will be the same stitch, the same amount on the other side and also at the edge. So basically you're counting already the one that's in this curve. You're going to continue and you're going to put 22 and the last one here, your 22nd double crochet. Then you're going to add the five more and you're going to put one more. So you're going to have a total of seven exactly like we have here. And then you're going to proceed to continue to do your 22 um, double crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. So I've done my seven double crochets. I'm going to come here on the third. Of course, my stitch is always very tight. And close it with a slip stitch. Okay, I know it's kind of tight in there, but you got to do what you got to do. Chain two for me, chain three maybe for some of you, depending upon your stitch, your tension. So that's a double crochet coming into the next space. And I'm going to grab only back. Oops, sorry about that. Two, three, four. So I have 21 before I hit my five. Um, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sorry. Okay, so you're going to do your 22 inside of the first double crochet that we did put all of them together. So you're supposed to have seven in there. Now the next one, we're going to do two together. This is the same thing, no different than what we did. The So we've created two double crochets per space a total of 10 on top of the five double crochets and then of course we have that one that was part of in the same corner turn for the 22 double crochets so you continue to do your 22 double crochets using back part only you don't have to you can use the front i just find that it gives it a nice decoration on it okay so we're going to do the same thing on this side, put two together on the five double crochets we have here. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I've closed in with a slip stitch. So we have the five double crochet at the beginning. We added two per space, so now we have ten. I've closed in with a slip stitch, I went up chain two. Next space, so we're doing the 21 double crochet, uh, 22 double crochets again, and back loops only, one per space, and then when we get to the corner, we're adding two again on the um, per space of the 10 that we did, so we're going to end up um, with 20 this time. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. So I've done my 22 double crochets. I'm coming in to the first one and adding two together. My next one, two together. So you're going to have a total of increase of 20 here on the edge. So we're doing over the double crochets from the previous row, the groups of five that we did. Okay. 
And we're going to do the same thing to the sentence. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we pretty much finished doing our third row. We're going into the fourth. Now we're going to create little groups of four double crochet and little blocks. So chain two for me, maybe chain three uh, for some of you. So inside of the next space, double crochet, next space, double crochet, and next space, double crochet. So we have a a group of four double crochets, two chain, skip one, two on the third one. I'm grabbing back loops, but you can grab the front if you'd like. So we're going to end up with four groups of four double crochets before, uh, just before the corner. Okay, so I'll meet you here at this corner, skipping two space, going to the third one. So we have the four groups of double crochet, two chain, and a skip, one, two. On the third space, we're going to create groups of three double crochet on the same space. Two chain. Remembering what you're doing here, you have to do it on this side also. So skip one, two on the third one three double crochets. So you're going to end up here on this corner with six groups of three double crochets. On the third space, again, with two chain separation in between them. So you're doing three double crochets on the same space. One, two, on the third space. One, two, one, two on the third space. So we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two on the third space. This is our last group of three double crochets on the same space. And then we're going to repeat the groups of four double crochet one per space two chain one two on the third space one double crochet next space one double crochet next space double crochet and next space double crochet so it's going to uh, repeat the four groups and then you're going to do the six groups of three double crochet on the same space. Okay, so we pretty much did row four. One, two, three, four. We're going into row five. Now we need to increase uh, on the little blockage here. So this one, chain two for me and two more for turning. For you, it could be chain three for double crochet and two for turning. I'm coming into the last one here like this. So we need to create a little bit more block now to increase. I'm coming in here with two double crochet and the last one here. Two chain. So we're creating little blocks now. And on the last one here, we're only going to do one double crochet like here. On the other side will be the same thing. So create your little blocks. Two inside of the space and one on top of the double crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you here. So we're only doing one double crochet. So in reality, you're going to have this time only three little blocks of four. And then the other side will be the same thing. On this side will be only one double crochet also. And here too, one double crochet also. So now we're going to do the increase on the corners. Two chain. Coming into the first double crochet with one double crochet. 
I'm going to add two double crochets here on the center and another double crochet. So now we have an increase of four double crochets, two chain. And again, the same thing. We're going to increase here on the second one, two double crochets in the same space. And the last one, one double crochet. So we're going to repeat this two chain separation on the edge here and also the edge here and continue to repeat this on here. So I've completed, I did my slip stitch, chain two again inside of the space. So we're creating the four groups again, we're doing the blockage. So this is going to be a repeat now for several rows. So we're going to continue to do exactly as we've been doing. So this row, so we started with four groups and then three, four groups, then three, four groups, then three. And we're always going to increase two on the second one. So it, we started with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We're going to do counting from this row here. Let's say this is row one, two, three. We're going to do seven rows. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. So I'm going to repeat again, counting from this row. One, two, three, four more rows. Okay, repeating the same way. So you're going to have a row only with one double crochet. Next row with four double crochet. Next row coming up is only one double crochet. So we can create this little blockage, okay? I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys. So I have one, two, three, four, and five rows. I'm only going to keep it at five rows. I had done the tutorial and was almost at the end before I thought of going to fit into the lid of the toilet seat and realized that I was... Too huge, too big. I should have done it earlier before I created almost the whole piece. So I had to take it all down, delete the video that I had tutorialed on, and I came down to the fifth. Okay, so I took down pretty much everything I had created. One, two, three, four, five, until five row. You must do the same. You must go and measure once you've created, because some... Uh, seat cover. Some of them are round, some of them are oval. Mine's like an oval S shape, weird, probably from the Second World War or something. I don't know. Um, it existed before I did, put it that way. So I took down, so we'll, we'll beat less two rows for me. So instead of doing seven rows from here, I have five. Okay, so this row is only going to be double crochets. One per space. There's nothing more frustrating than almost be at the end and realize that you have to redo it again. So we're going to do one double crochet per space where we have the two chain separation. We're going to do two double crochet. And where we have the motifs on the edges, we're going to keep it the same two on the last double crochet. So inside of here, you can go in or over. It's up to you. I'm going in. And doing two double crochets right in the two chain. And then one per space. Coming into the edge here, we're going to continue the same two in the end. And two double crochet inside and keep going and increasing to on the last one. I'll meet you at the end. If you're changing colors, then this, uh, right after this row, we're doing the poof stitch. So this is the double crochet we're doing, then we're doing poof, and then one row of my brown, and then the blue. So as you can see, I had seven rows, but we still have this much to do. And it was ridiculous, it was huge, it was hanging over the toilet. So imagine that. Okay, so I'll come back to you once I'm done with my um, off-white.
or cream, if you want to call it. Okay, everyone, I'm coming in with my cream. I'm trying to see if I get the proper lighting here, because sometimes, I'm telling you, sometimes it's not easy at all, is it? Okay. I'm going to come in where I have the three chain going up. with a single, try to hide my thread here. I'm going to stretch a bit, we're doing the poof, coming back into the same space. So two times, and my third time. I'm going to skip a space, and I'm coming in directly into the last one here. Not the last one, skip a space into the next one. So I'm going to do one and two chain. I'm going to come in where I have that one we just did. Pull it up twice, three times. I'm going to skip a space and I'm coming into the next one. And I'm going to take it all out. Just like that. One two chain again come in two where we took everything out two and three skip a space into the next one take it all out oops I don't know what I grabbed here Two chain. And again, the same thing coming in where we have this last one here. One, two, and three. Skip a space into the next one. Whoops. And that can happen, of course, especially that I'm crocheting with my hands stretched to film, right? One, two, and three. Let's hope I didn't do all of this taking them for nothing. I hope this is going to fit now. And two chain. So we're going to continue to do it this way all the way to the end. Then we're going to cut our thread and go into the brown. Okay, everyone. So we're going to go and do exactly what we did here double crochets but we're going to do inside of the chain where we created the chain so we are going to do from the sides here starting on where we had the chain not the motives we're going to do two groups of um, not two groups Two double crochet, so a group of two double crochet inside of the um, of the chains. So we have the two chains between the poofs, and when we get to the motive here, we're going to be doing three double crochets. Okay, so single, one chain for me. For some of you, it's two chain and double crochet. I'm coming into the next space of the chain where we have the uh, two chain separation Let's see if maybe this is better next space two double crochet in the same space Next space. So where we have the two chain, this is where we're doing the two double crochet. We're going to proceed this way until we get here. Because from this one on, from this one on, we're doing three. So we're going to stop right here. 
with two double crochets and here we start three double crochets until the edge here okay but I'll meet you here once I get to this part here so you don't get confused okay so very simple okay so we are here on the next one so I finished mine just here in the middle coming into where we have the motives with three double crochet okay so all the way in the corners we're doing three double crochets we need to increase because we don't want it to be pulling okay we'll be doing the same thing on the other side as you know now I want to remind you that if you want to make a little rug all you have to do is keep increasing on here and if you want to make a long rug then instead of doing uh, 21 chain you need to do like 31 or 41 depending upon how big you want the big one is really 41 so you just add by 10 chain okay and you increase here and you'll have the big rugs okay everyone so I pretty much finished doing my three groups of three until the end of the motives here okay and now we continue with only two double crochets until the end so very simple nothing to it and then once I'm finished I'm cutting my thread and coming in with the blue Okay, you guys, I'm coming in with the blue now. So I'm going to start right here. Here, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to do a single. I'm going to do chain three two and three I'm going to skip one two on the third one single chain three again skip one two on the third one single we're going to make um, three loops one two and three one two three single so now we have three loops we're going to do oops no chain we're going directly into one two three so no chain we're creating these and then four chain two three and four coming back into the same space and creating double crochet we're going to skip one two three one two and on the third one single so we created a V here so we're always going to do that okay create three loops and a V chain three again creating our loops one two on the third one one two three one two on the third one one two and three one two on the third one so we have our three loops again we're going directly one, two, and three, creating a double crochet, four chain, and another double crochet on the same space, creating a V, one, two, and on the third one, a single. We're going to do that all the way around. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I've come to the end. I've closed in with a slip stitch. Now here on my last one, I only skipped one and went in. Um, or should I say, yes, skipped only one because I didn't have more. 
So that's not an issue, not a problem. When I finished here, I skipped one, two, and I went into the third one. But here there's only one, and I came into this slip stitch. That means I was missing uh, one here. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything in our book. Okay, so now, just give me a second here. I'm going to come in where I have the first loop with a single one, two, and three. into the next loop one two and three and into the third loop so now we're decreasing we're going to have only two loops i'm coming in directly into the v and create nine double crochets two three four Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Directly into the first loop. One, two, and three. Single into the second loop. Three chain again and into the third loop so now we're only going to have two loops directly into the V and create your nine again so this is how it's going to be all the way around and I'll meet you at the end remembering when you're going to come here at the end you're going to do your nine and you're going to go directly into your single here okay after you do your nine inside of the loop i'll meet you at the end okay guys basically i'm at the end and this is where we started the single so we're just going to go directly in there with a the slip stitch just like that and we're going to go back into this loop here with a single we're going to do one, two, and three. Come into the next single. So now we're going to have only one loop. So we're decreasing. We started with three, with two, with one. We're coming into our first double crochet here with a double crochet. One chain separation. Actually, I'm going to grab back loops only. And we're going to do the nine double crochets. And then I'm cutting my thread and I'm coming in with the brown for the peacock. I measured the, um, the cover of the toilet seat and it seemed to be perfect size for me. So if you need to go another row or two on here, then go ahead. It must be poof must be right at the edge of your lid just to let you know or a little bit before the edge of the lid okay it's a way to give you a hint that you're on the right track so I've done my nine one two three four five six seven eight nine directly into first loop three double crochet um, three chains sorry single and back loop for double crochet one chain separation between them and then you can cut your thread if you're changing colors we'll have only one loop left here okay Okay, everyone, I pretty much finished doing all the way around. I'm coming in with my brown. 
This is the last row and then we'll work on the back part to do the net to hold on to the seat cover. So very simple, going right at the edge here. I'm going to, actually I'm going to come in where the uh, three chains are with a single. And then into the first double crochet with a single. I'm going to turn three times. I'm going to come in where the V is and do one, two, three, and four. I'm going to come inside my first double crochet um, space between double, the first double crochet and second. Chain three, pick up, next space single, chain three, pick up, next space single, chain three. And again, the same thing. So it's always a repeat to the same thing. Into my last space here. cut. I'm going to turn three times. I'm coming into the V, this time from inside out, sideways. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to come directly into the center, the middle here of the one loop there. Actually, no, we still have one more space here, so I'm going to come in, no, I have missed one space, sorry, still have one more square there, I didn't realize I have to come in again to be careful too when these things are common to happen. Okay, let's try this again. So back into the middle here. So take out four. I'm gonna come right before the loop where the single is into the middle where the loop is and into two double crochet and again turn three times come into from the back this time Take out one, take out two, take out three, and take out four. Come in the first double crochet in the second, so that means our first square. One, two, and three. We're going to do the peacocks again until the last little square at the end. So I'll meet you here on the last one just to make sure that we are on the right track. So we are on the last square. Turn three times and we're going to come from in the center now. From the front to the side. 
and take out four. And I come where before the loop, there's that single. Single in the middle of the loop. And single on the first double crochet. We're going to repeat this all the way around. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so I pretty much finished my edge. We are going to turn our pattern this way. And we're going to work half of the pattern. That means from here, the beginning of the motif, we're going to be working on our third, which that means the middle, the middle here of the three chains that we started with the blue. There's uh, three, uh, three loops. We're going to start in the middle. And we're going to start by this side, the same way on the middle here of the three loops. One, two, and three. We're going to make like a net to stick inside of the toilet uh, um, lid. Okay? So we're going to do a slip stitch knot. Now you can do this with whatever color you want. So you're going to come into the third chain, which is this one here. This is the middle one. So I'm just going to grab it. We have the two groups here. I'm just going to go in where I have the two groups, okay? And we're going um, to do a two double crochets on the same space. So a single, two chain, and one more double crochet on the same space, okay? We're going to do chain six, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to come into the next where we have the motive here and I'm going to go right in the center, right in the center of it and we're going to do one double crochet and it's always going to be like this, one in the middle of the three chains and one in the middle of the motive with double crochet. Chain six again, let me just grab this properly because I don't want no strings to be pulling. So I have to make sure that I grab both, both threads there. Okay, right in the middle, right beneath, we have the groups. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to come into where we have the three chains again here. Now if I face it this way, you can see better. So we have those three chains we started. So I'm going to work right here in the middle of it and do my three, uh, my double crochet, sorry. So I'm gonna come here in between the group of the two uh, double crochets here where we started, and again, chain six. So it's always gonna be like this until the uh, middle of the chain here. Okay, we stop there, because then we have to work back and forth again. You can always look ahead of the video and see what I'm doing. So it's going to turn out to look like this. Okay. And I'm going to continue to do mine. So three, four, five, and six. And again, we're going to come into the middle of the motive here. And I'm just going to grab the brown right in the center with a double crochet and chain six again and go on the next one on the middle loop one two three four five and six and coming into the next one into the middle loop so we have one two and three and coming in between the two double crochets that we have here and do my double crochet so it's going to look like a net okay I'll meet you at the end right on this one here okay so it's going to be right in the middle okay you guys so I pretty much finished the loops from where I started so I started here with two double crochet right on the third third loop there and I finish on the same way on the third loop the same direction 
with double crochet. I'm going to do another double crochet because we started with two and we're going to finish with two. We're going to turn around. This is, um, we're just going to keep going back and forth in it. Okay. So I'm going to do two double crochet. So chain two for me, chain three, maybe for some of you that have a tighter uh, tension. So we're going to continue. This will be continue all the way to the end on the same way. So all we're doing is chains, but we're just going to cut them down. So we're going to have two rows of six chain, two rows of five chain, two rows of four chain, two rows of three chain, one row of two chain, uh, no, two rows of two chain, one row of one chain, and then zero. Okay, so chain six, two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to repeat the same thing back and forth to a uh, double crochet, three, four, five, and six, and double crochet. So we're going to do it this way, all the way to this side here, and then we're going to do the two double crochet going up and chain five. So we'll have two rows of chain five. I'll meet you at the end. Coming to the end again, double crochet over double crochet. We're going to have two double crochets here at the end. Exactly how we started the other side too. We're going to turn around and then we're going to do chain five only and not six. Okay, we need to start cutting, decreasing. So one, two, three chain, and another double crochet. Okay, chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Double crochet over double crochet. Okay, so basically, you know, this is how it's going to be back and forth, back and forth. So two rows of six, two rows of five, two rows of four, two rows of three, two rows of two, one row of one chain only, and the last row, no chain at all. I'm going to continue mine and meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, I'm almost at the end. I'm just going to pull it here so you can see what is going on here. We're almost at the end here. Now, I had mentioned to you that we'd be doing by, by two. So we did two rows of six, two rows of five, two rows of four, two rows of three, two rows of two. I'm going to do two rows of one and probably two rows of no separation because I wanted to close in more. I wanted to be more of... Um, instead of being like this usage, I want it to tighten in more, and then I'm going to just tie it in here at the end. Okay, so I'm just, I want it to close up, but I don't want it to frill here, so I'm going to do two rows of, um, of one chain separation, and most probably two rows of no chain separation. I'm going to use a, a, um, a 5.5 .5 so my stitch can be smaller so it can tighten up. If you come across the same problem, um, you can do the same thing. You can do after, uh, on your fourth chain, you can go uh, tighter, smaller hook, gets you a tighter uh, fit. But you got to make sure that it's not too tight because we need to put the lid through there just the same, right? So we're almost at the end. Uh, this is row two. I did two rows of two. Now I'm going to do two rows of one with a smaller hook so I can tighten that up more. And then two more rows of no uh, stitch separation. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Once I'm complete with my last two rows, or my last row, I should say, of no separation. Okay, you guys, I'm pretty much done with it. So I did up to my one. Uh, um, I mean, sorry, I did... Uh, one separation and the last row no separation okay I only did one row I didn't do two rows so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to close up this here right on the edge making 
get my hook through it. With a slip stitch. Now, you can go ahead if you want and do um, single crochets through it. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm just going to pull my thread through some of the loops here just to make it more secure with a slip stitch. And I will have it in display. Um, I want to thank every single one of you being part of this journey. Please don't forget to give it those thumbs up. It's important for the video. I'm probably going to do the toilet paper, um, I don't know what you call it, holder. So you might want to stay tuned for that. And like I mentioned, if you want to make the rug, then it would be the same thing as this here, except you will be adding, if you want it longer, you'll be adding in the center. Instead of 21, make it 31 or 41, depending on how big you want your rug. And this does it for this tutorial. Um, thank you very much to every single one of you. And I hope to see you on the next one. Stay tuned for the display. I should mention at the beginning always that I display a little video or pictures at the end with the finished uh, products. But I keep forgetting with so many things that you want to touch base on. And I keep forgetting to mention it. But anyway, stay tuned for the end of the video. Um, I should have a little video uh, with it displayed in position where it's supposed to be. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care.